an update on the sexual harassment complaint against Mayor Bob Ryan, and a closer look at the mayor's severe budget cutting ideas top the headlines for Tuesday, October 5th. Press Now News at Noon is sponsored by QMART. A sexual harassment complaint filed against Mayor Bob Ryan by fired Human Resources Director Angela Payne will probably be tried before an administrative law judge in February. As you probably remember, Payne accused Ryan of making advances toward her and then firing her when she rejected him. She's filed a complaint with the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development, and an investigation into that complaint found that sexual harassment claim was believable. Read more on SheboyganPress.com. The council opted last night to give themselves a do-over on the dangerous dog ordinance, and this time aldermen will work with dog owners and others to come up with something that protects the public and doesn't unfairly burden dog owners. More than 100 people demonstrated outside City Hall before the meeting to make their point, and you can weigh in now. Check SheboyganPress.com for a forum on this subject and join the conversation. The mayor's proposed 2011 budget is filled with serious cuts that he hopes will make it unnecessary to increase the city's tax levy. The cuts include seven police officers and six firefighters, as well as personnel at the library, public works, and the city's administration. Watch tomorrow's press for a closer look at what those cuts to the police and fire departments would mean to the city, and keep an eye out for more follow-ups in the days to come. In sports, watch for a photo gallery and results from boys' soccer when Plymouth hosts Kiel in the EWC championship game. You know those nicer days I mentioned yesterday? Here they come. According to the National Weather Service, today is sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 43. Wednesday will be sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 45. For more on these and other stories, check out SheboyganPress.com and don't forget to pick up a copy of tomorrow's paper. For the Sheboygan Press, I'm Janet Ortegan.